The severe weather ingredients, they're expected to really line up, maybe a better chance of spawning tornadoes. Iowa's in the bullseye, including Iowa City. Just one tornado, though, has been reported so far in the state this year. The National Weather Service out of Des Moines says that today and tomorrow could be the greatest chance for severe weather across the state so far this year. Iowa has been, well, dealt a doozy of a winter. Very cold air for the Iowa caucuses. Remember that? Oh, Where we had yeah. bone chilling cold. Mm -hmm. Temperatures well below even negative 20. Um, wind chills were, were almost off the charts. Now we're heading into spring. It feels like summer today there. Um, and then yeah. Tuesday is going to be the day, Marissa, where yeah. I think things really begin to ramp up. And we'll need to watch it. I know that a lot of the attention had been for Monday um, <laughs> today. And, and while an important day, there's been more of a signal in Iowa that yeah. a few of these storms closer to this surface low could yeah. produce some strong tornadoes. It looks like tomorrow you get a little bit more alignment with the influences of the upper level jet, the lower level jet, uh, really lining up to give you that wind shear that we're worried about, especially when you get into the warm sector and further to the north, like you said, near the low. Um, yeah. Really quick, it, I will say Iowa, I was looking at the drought monitor, no surprise that it's very dry to the west where you have the fire concerns. But Iowa, they've been really missing out on some of the bigger storms and the rain. So they actually do have some areas that need rain. Right. This is the price you may pay. Um, we're going to see that line up with these strong storms right overhead. So Des Moines, um, we talked about being close to that area of low pressure. The low does skip. For it, it starts to go north sooner mm -hmm. this time of round, and that's where we're seeing that lineup and that tornadic threat especially. Um, thank you. Um, thank you, Matthew. So if you notice, you have that extreme risk. Cedar Rapids included in that. Even Des Moines, it's a little dry over there. So could yeah. we get some heavy rain there? Yeah, and do we need it? Absolutely. I, I think the, the snow that we haven't seen in the upper Midwest mm -hmm. speaks to, to that. Right. There's been that drought that's that's continued. The, uh, the rain forecast w that we have, really mm -hmm. a lot of it's going to fall on a Tuesday, right. but Kendall, there's a possibility that maybe some of this could limit the severe threat that we see on on Tuesday if we get the rain and if it continues. Yeah, that would actually be a good thing. So yeah. on a day when we're anticipating severe weather, we actually do want to see it to be overcast and kind of rainy and dreary. That's a good thing to wake up to because hopefully that will overall limit the potential for severe weather, especially later in the afternoon. That's when we're concerned, like you're mentioning, Marissa, how all of these severe ingredients are kind of lining up a little bit better tomorrow, especially during kind of our peak daytime heating, so our diurnal heating hours. And so we'll watch. Here's what it looks like Chicago by about six o'clock. That's when some of these stronger storms come racing their way on through. So uh, damaging winds, the potential for some hail. Nine o'clock, though, notice this line, St. Charles, blasting its way right across I-88, I-90, and that will progress throughout a good chunk of the overnight hours as well. So that's one of the big takeaways, not just from tonight's event, but tomorrow's event as well, is that we do have the potential potential to see storms during the overnight hours. Yes, we will start to see those storms kind of wane in intensity Tuesday night, but you can't let your guard down. You have to be prepared. Chicago, the next three days today, enjoy it because it's not going to last very long. Tuesday, mm -hmm. Wednesday, looking pretty gross. Yeah.